All right, I want to start the video off by saying, Call of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of Ruel. Shout out to you, brothers, either preaching and teaching the truth worldwide. I want to say, Shout out to Alpha Lit. <coughs> Today's lesson is uh, don't really have an actual title, just kind of uh, a few precepts in mind. And just going, you know, flow through the spirit. So right here, got this Isaiah 59 and 19. <clears throat> so shall they fear the name. So shall they fear the name of your house from the west. That's as far as the west you can get. Because the the um the known world during the during that time frame was the eastern, you know, living in the east, you know. Starting with, you know, Israel, Africa, that whole Levant region, you know, uh, 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 that just that whole region over there. Um, dealing with, with Rome and Europe and, you know, that's the eastern, the, you know, the other side of the world. So as the scriptures, as the scriptures say, so shall they fear the name of your house from the west. This is the further west you can get, go. And his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of your house shall lift up a standard against him. So when this damn devil Esau rolls on the elect of the nation of Israel, the Lord gonna have a standard, a standard raised up. So here it is. If you're a wicked ass nigga, you think the Lord gonna have a standard raised up for you? Of course not. Unless you repent. But at that point in time, hey, you won't be a wicked ass nigga. But you think the Lord is going to, let's just say you're a wicked ass nigga. Come in all kind of abomination. You think the Lord had a standard raised up for you? I tell you nay. Of course not. <clears throat> so when you deal with a flood, a flood is overwhelming. You've seen like um, videos of people who were getting flooded. That water comes up very quickly. Hey, and sweeps them away. So that's that's so that's likened to Esau's military, his Durka troop, his 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 um police force. Here it is for one individual. They have a SWAT team. They have snipers. They will cut the electricity. They uh, uh cut all this stuff out off just to get one person. It's overwhelming. They got people just <clears throat> lying in houses to to snipe them. All kinds of things. So. <clears throat> Slacky on that. So when this damn devil get ready to roll on the elect, the elect uh, of the nation of Israel, hey, he's gonna be likened to that. He gonna come in like a flood. Every angle, he's coming in. But see what he, what the average Edomite don't know, or just Jake in the world. Lord gonna have a standard lift up for his elect, where the Lord may give him the power to, to, uh, um, disappear. Go to another place, or, or maybe able to to here it is, fight their way out of there. We don't know, but a Lord can send an angel to blind the eyes of the, uh, of those um, darker troops, the, the the army, military, whatever may be at your door. The Lord can blind all of them, so you just walk out. Now, that's a miracle. So here it is. So we understand through the spirit power, Yah and Bashem there will be a standard lifted up. For the elect of the nation of Israel. What's else going to be lifted up? Uh, as far as. Hey the Lord going to be providing for brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Alright so. The book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse 13. Actually I'm going to start at 12. Isaiah 65 verse 12. Therefore, will I number you to the sword? So, yeah, two thirds of the nation of Israel, hey, you number to the sword. And ye shall bow down to the slaughter. This damn devil gonna be mowing you niggas down left and right. Because when I called, ye did not answer. So, when did the Lord call? Hey, when, when, hey, this is the Lord calling right now. This lesson right now, the Lord is calling you to, hey, repent, Jake, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
So as the scripture say, <clears throat> because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spoke, it's so like when I spake, ye did not hear. But the evil before in thy eyes, and they choose that wherein I delight in not. So since you choosing the damn devil, which the Lord isn't delighting in you, like your hands with the damn enemy. So guess what? You're going to destroy this damn devil because you trust in oppression in front of the oppressor. Guess what? You can die with this nigga. Y'all niggas can live happily ever after. Just get destroyed together. Get Sarah Connor. Verse 13. Therefore, thus said uh, the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat. So the 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 how the Lord is going to point over four different kinds. And when you got, <clears throat> as the scriptures say, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. So two thirds, hey, these other nations, them niggas going to be hungry. <clears throat> my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. So, hey, the lit, hey they gonna, hey, they ain't going to be thirsty. Say they going to drink. But you other people, you niggas going to be thirsty. Gonna be thirsty um physically and spiritually gonna be thirsty because here it is you going to see Reverend Pork Chop, that nigga ain't feeding you. He's not he's not feeding you with nothing but lies in the seat. Telling that the Lord got a the Lord has a blessing with your name on it. Thinking that the Lord dealing with him. Nope, he's not dealing with you. He got Satan, he the Lord got Satan working on your mind. And you ain't know. Continue on with this Isaiah 65, 13. I'm going to start it from the top. Therefore, thus said the Lord power, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, hey, hey. Here it is. The reason why you're going to be ashamed because... Especially if you're an Israelite and you heard the word, but then you cast it behind you. So, oh, I got plenty of time. Nope. Prophecy ain't saying that you got plenty of time. Based upon the prophecies, how they're uh, um, manifesting in real time, you don't have you don't have all time all all the damn uh, five ten years to get yourself together, Jake. Nah, hey, you need to be doing it right now. So I'm going to jump into this Jeremiah 15. <clears throat> All right, this book of Jeremiah, chapter 15. I'm going to start this from the top and I'm going to read down to. Um, to the third verse. All right, then said Yahweh unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood toward this people, Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. <clears throat> and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? Now, you niggas, Jake, you want to know where you're going to go? This is what we're going to tell you. Then thou shalt tell them, Israel, thus said Yahweh, such as, for, such as are for death to death. Such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. So that's what we're going to tell you. Because Lord is not delighting with you joining hand with the damn devil. So that's the message now. If you want to hear what the Lord got to say, this is what the Lord has to say at this point in time. When a hey, people, Jake, run up, hey, where should we go? Bam, this is it. I'm crack out the Bible. I'm crack out, crack out the phone app. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 2. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, unto the prophets, Whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus said Yahweh, such as are for the death to the death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Verse 3. 
And I will appoint over them four kinds, said Yahweh, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour, to devour and destroy. So that, that, that's, that's the message. <clears throat> Going all the way back to Isaiah 59 and 19, the Lord going to set up a standard for the elect on the nation of Israel. But you wicked ass niggas, no standard. You get appointed over four kinds. So, hey, that's a hey, shoot. Like, matter of fact, I'm going to read that again. <clears throat> Jeremiah 15, verse 3. And I will pour over them, Israelites, wicked ass niggas. I will, and I will pour over them four kinds, said Yahweh, <clears throat> the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth do. To devour, to devour, and destroy. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I was just you know like doing this through the spirit. Had a you know listen that I kind of had one or two precepts that I want to jump into. So I want to end this by giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone uh, that rule well. <clears throat> Hopefully, this lesson was edifying. To next time, shalom.